Hi, I'm Larry Johnson. I'm a professor at Texas A&M University, and today we're going to talk about the male reproductive system. The male reproductive system, testicular interstitium, that is the cells, nerves, and blood vessels, and lymphatic vessels, uh, the lady cell structure and function, uh, lady cell germ cell interactions, and the blood tissue barrier. So here we can see the myoid cells around the seminary tubules. We see lytic cells, lymphatics, very thin wall. We see capillaries, blood capillaries, lytic cells. You can see some lipid and lytic cells uh, here. And we can see uh, more lytic cells, seminary tubules, lymphatics inside there. Since developing uh, germ cells require 100-fold concentration of testosterone than others, uh, that's why you have it's close uh, proximity. I think we said that one time before, but we want to confirm that. Lymphatic artery, uh, you've got uh, fibroblasts, primary spermatocytes, myoid cells, uh, mitotic figures of spermatic gonia giving rise to spermatocytes. If we look at a lytic cell here, you can see it has a lot of smooth cytoplasm associated with it, and it also has some lipid. But if you look at that at the ultrastructure level, what you see is a, is a sea of smooth endoplasmic reticulum, some lipofusum, some lipid, uh, but there's a lot of smooth endoplasmic reticulum associated with the producing testosterone. Also, uh, the mitochondria have a tubular type Christi. Instead of having a typical lamellar, it's little tubes, and so the Christi is tubes. Uh, maybe there's a macrophage uh, in the uh, uh, in the interstitium, there certainly would be macrophages in there. Uh, and here we can see a high voltage electron micrograph showing a satoid cell nucleus here and here, another satoid cell nucleus there and there. Uh, and you can see that a satoid cell is like, uh, kind of like a tree. Satoid described it first with branches. They're not really branches, they're more like bed sheets that surround the germ cells. So the germ cells are not inside the cell itself. They're in like a little pocket uh, of the of the cell. So we see the spermatocytes, spermatogonium here, spermatocytes, this happened to be in a horse, and then these are spermatids uh, in here, and this is the elongated spermatids, you can see the manchette. If we look at this later, we can see uh, the spermatid nucleus, the Golgi apparatus, uh, the centriole giving rise to the developing tail. Um, and then finally that tail gets more developed, as you can see there, and there's a manchette that may be associated with elongation of the nucleus and certainly uh, helping development of the tail. So this spermatid is the same as these guys here with a little uh, acrosomic vesicle forming up there. So these are Golgi phase because of the Golgi phase spermatid. Here we see an electron micrograph of the Sertoli cell, which is a tall cell again that's from the base all the way up, up to the lumen. We don't see the lumen up there. Uh, and we see uh, two primary spermatocytes. This is one, the nucleus over here and the nucleus over there. In this one, we can see the synaponemal complex, which is where you have crossing over uh, of the DNA uh, during meiosis to occur. But of the Sertoli cell, you see the bizarre shape of the Sertoli cell nucleus, a little bit of nucleus up there as well, uh, euchromatic nucleus. We don't see the nucleolus, but there usually is one. We can see lipofusin, uh, heterophagic vacuoles that have been eaten up, uh, very long uh, uh, microtubules in through there. Uh, mitochondria are long and look quite a bit different than the mitochondria from the spermatocytes a nice Golgi apparatus that we see for the Sertoli cell. So the Sertoli cell will be touching each Sertoli cell uh, on the sides where they make, um, they make a, a junction. And we can see uh, here where if this is one Sertoli cell in purple and another one over here, uh, then uh, uh, right here there is a, a barrier uh, between, between these two. And this is the uh, uh, Sertoli cell occluding junction barrier that's um, above the spermatogonia. The spermatogonia are in the basal compartment, and then these cells uh, are in the adluminal compartment. Primary spermatocytes and spermatids have never been seen by the immune system, and you need a barrier. 
uh, to keep those new cells which appear after puberty uh, from uh, gaining access to the immune system or, or vice versa. And here you can see an electron micrograph showing you that barrier where lanthanum nitrate was able to penetrate in underneath here, underneath there, uh, but then stopped abruptly uh, right here at the occluding junctions uh, of the Satoyo cell, which separates the basal from the aluminum compartment. There's no counterpart to this uh, in the female because she, when she's born, she already has uh, the primary oocytes. Uh, what happens uh, is that the prelepatine primary spermocytes, which are produced from the uh, type B spermatogonia dividing, uh, they migrate through the barrier. And that's how we get uh, things from the basal to the aluminal compartment. Now, there's three types of germ cells. You've got to you got the spermatogonia, spermocytes, and spermatids, and these divide spermatogenesis into three major events, dermatotic activity or spermatocytogenesis, meiosis, and spermiogenesis. Those are the three things. So we have spermatogonia divided by mitosis, spermatocytes divide by meiosis uh, to make uh, different individuals, and then you have differentiation uh, of the around cell uh, to that that looks like a sperm. Uh, and here we can see the changes that occur, and we have named these different ones. If you look at it in human, you can see the Golgi phase with the uh, acrosomic vesicle, the Golgi apparatus here, the cap phase where it has a little cap over it, the acrosome has formed a cap, Elong, uh, elongation phase where you get elongation of the nucleus and the manchette present, and then finally uh, the manchette disappears, mitochondria moving around the tail, and you get the maturation phase. So these are the different phases, and you can see uh, how the development occurs uh, as it repeats back uh, in this one stage of the cycle. Uh, spermata, uh, uh, spermatozoa are released in stage two of the cycle. These guys are, are released. And so here's a human spermatozoan. Uh, you can see the mitochondria in the middle piece. It's happened a little bit of a cytoplasmic droplet. But here we see the uh, the nucleus and the host of membranes with the acrosome on this region. We want to acknowledge uh, the original sources of uh, uh, diagrams and images that may be used here that were taken from the textbooks, and we herein uh, acknowledge that uh, with this uh, with this slide. So this is the end of the male reproductive system: testicular, interstitium, uh, cells, nerves, vessels. Uh, lytic cell structure and function, uh, germ cell, cell interaction, and the blood-tested barrier.